What's up, Gemini gang? Okay, it is raining right now, so y'all might hear some rain in the background. Let's see what's going on. All Gemini placements take what resonates, leave the rest. This is gonna be for the singles or the situationships. I don't know, whatever y'all got going on, child. Take what resonates, leave the rest. <laughs> Take it how it resonates with you in your situation. If you need a personal reading, check the description box, all right? One, two questions. I think there's only one question available, but y'all can always double check. I think two questions are out. Um, but yeah, y'all, of course, y'all are appreciated for show, for show. All right, so this is where we're at right now um singles <laughs> what is going on now all right so we have pause here your self-respect increases your romantic attractiveness take a break from relationships that do not improve your life so if you feel like somebody's just around just uh you know nagging away at your energy and not contributing anything you probably need to release that energy okay um and we have broken here some things take time to heal from while others cause permanent damage it's time to evaluate the, the connection and choose whether to stay or go so some of you that's in a situation ship that's why i be saying situation ships because sometimes for whatever reason y'all stuff be coming up in the singles readings okay so you have somebody that is um usually always heavy in y'all's energy you guys and then we have worth it here and this is stay single until you come across someone deserving of sharing the life that you have built for yourself okay again we're talking about this worth again and we talked about the self-worth in the last reading too so some of you may need to work on self-worth uh or something along the lines of that all right or someone that um someone in your energy needs to okay but i feel like it's you um, because we are seeing it again in another reading, okay? We have the Knight of Pentacles, or Dead Devil again. Could be a Capricorn for some of you, a Virgo that you're dealing with, Four of Swords, yeah. Someone's taking some time, or you are taking some time to yourself, and you should. I feel like some of you do need to kind of take some time to yourself. Six of Wands. Um, I feel like, too, someone may have some type of anxiety. So, again, I'm not sure if it's you, the Chariot. Uh, Ace of Wands. Yeah, this is a, a choice. Some of you do have a choice between whether to deal with someone or not to. Uh, Gemini's. Someone you're, you're out on a break from. Ooh, some of y'all got options coming in. Seven of Cups. <laughs> Those scales always balance. I won't be surprised if we see a scale that comes out. Six of Pentacles, uh, Justice everything always comes into balance uh gemini's and i feel like if you feel like you you're not getting what you want out of love i feel like that's a going that's going to change hey so swords here um on the bottom i feel like and i keep getting in the readings too that some of you guys may have like a choice it's going to boil down to you having a choice um of what you want to do about someone or something so yeah <laughs> gemini's um now i will say this sometimes a chariot can be about um being torn between your head and your heart and some of you are in this space like you're you're not sure if you want to uh give somebody a chance or move on to someone new and again if this isn't you right now i feel like it could be uh coming up for you like you're not sure if you want to um you're not sure if you want to um why don't just lose train of thought yeah some of you are a little bit on a uh, little confused like you don't know what you want to do so i feel like that needs to be a thing like you need to get into a space of knowing what you want to uh gemini's so you know you're not feeling like you're wasting your time with people you got options coming in whether you realize that or not uh gemini's you got options coming in you singles okay queen of wands could be an aries uh for some of you or this is like you like you are in this energy 
um, you're very attractive to people or again it could just be you it getting in this energy I'm seeing the hermit lots of cards I'm not gonna go through all these ace of cups because a bunch of them flipped over the tower uh, the high priestess yes I love the queen of wands with the high priestess it gives siren every time the high priestess with the queen of wands gives siren it gives seductress you know even if you're not coming off as this I feel like you are just coming off as just very um sexy uh gemini's okay it doesn't matter what your gender is all right um if somebody's watching you and i feel like more than one people well i was gonna say more than one people uh watching you more than one person is watching you gemini's queen of swords yeah some of you need to kind of take some time off uh to yourself nine of pentacles or you've done that already like you're kind of just chilling and again this could just be reiterating yes yeah, seven of swords some of you are for real for real single single like some of you aren't in any type of situation ship. you don't have no roster and nothing like that you just single doing you but baby if you don't have no roster just hang tight yeah look at the world here let's see how those cards just came in and flew out on top of those like that if you don't have no roster Spirit said, oh, yeah, that's about to change. You're about to have a big roster, a big, huge roster. <laughs> Baby, look at that. Look, I told you, I told you. And this may be someone coming, like, for you or coming to take you off the market. It could be an earth sign, a Taurus, king of pentacles, yep, ten of cups, knight of swords, yep, eight of cups, mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody's going to come take you off the market. Because somebody sees that you're a catch. And this is so similar to the last reading that I did. Somebody sees that you're a catch. And they don't want you to get away. And they don't want somebody else to come and swoop you up. I feel like somebody's starting to see that. You really are like... Um, <laughs> I really can't make none of this up. So it's like, it's like 6 a.m., you guys. Uh, on a Sunday and I'm not I ain't trying to disturb nobody so I ain't gonna use my hands but clap for my damn self okay because look at here uh some of you got to have options and I feel like somebody you may have somebody that's kind of watching and seeing you have options and seeing people kind of check for you uh, like I said things are balancing out for you because you know if love life has been a little rocky and a little shaky it's about to be um different way different for you uh Gemini's and I feel like in a in a positive way the high priestess yes love it love it love it and then we have the sun here so now with the seven of cups and the high priestess makes me feel like you are number one in this space of a lot of people are checking for you a lot of people are kind of seeing you as unattainable uh, Gemini's and if, if people aren't like approaching you or whatever it could be this some people may see you as unapproachable but that that will always be a thing especially with the Sun here I feel like too some of you guys need to kind of like show yourselves more like you need to be more yourself you need to be more um, you need to be more open and out there and I know I did a reading for you guys like this uh, not too long ago but yeah I feel like there could be I had to let the thunder go by I feel like their spirit got something in store for you there could be some some options you just don't see them yet and I feel like some of you guys you don't see this yet because I, I that's why I was hearing like oh my rod I ain't got no roster I ain't got nobody child but baby um it's about to be revealed I feel like yeah you ain't got no roster it's about to be one <laughs> People are about to start seeing your worth. Baby, the high priestess again, you guys. I told you I love the queen of wands and the high priestess. That's, that gives siren heavily. Someone is like really drawn to you too. More, like more than one person. Could be a Capricorn with the queen of pentacles here on the bottom. Ten of wands, four of swords again. For some of you, this is somebody that you are at odds with. Like you could be at odds with a person. Could be someone now let me give you an example the sun again let me give you an example say you are on a dating site right you meet this person y'all go on a date and after the date y'all get back a couple days later y'all fall out y'all have some type of disagreement y'all quit talking and you know when people disagree you know things are said that that you know aren't necessarily 
mint, all right, um, and things fall off. So I feel like this, it could be a person like that, like someone you could have went out with once or twice and things kind of fell off and now they're like, okay, um, Gemini is actually a catch, you know. I can't lie to you though. I feel like this could be like somebody seeing other people kind of checking for you. I'm going to be totally honest. <laughs> um, because yeah, I feel like somebody kind of slept on you. Uh, Gemini, somebody kind of slept on you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not because they didn't feel like you were a catch because I feel like this could be someone, especially seeing that hermit earlier, this could be someone that's kind of used to being by themselves. So it's like, okay, I'm not really tripping on nobody. I ain't really tripping on no partnership or whatever. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, they are. They are now. Mm hmm You gonna have somebody in their feelings, too. Or you already do. I told you, child. This, I knew it. See, I mm, clap for my damn self. Nine of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles here on the bottom. I told you somebody not wanting to be single. Whoever this is, is used to being single. So when you have somebody like that, it is it's easy for them to kind of like let go. But I feel like it's this it's not easy for somebody to let you go. Eight of Pentacles and Two of Swords. Yeah, um, wanting to make it right. Somebody wanting to make something right with you. And again, this could be a future thing. So if you in the future go on a date with somebody and things kind of fall off, um, and you feel kind of feel like they were you were going to hit it off with this person, I don't feel like they're going to be gone. But keep your options open, you know what I mean? Like, if you're dating someone and they don't know act right, keep your options open. Like, don't don't cut off all your options for somebody that might be, you know. Uh, cut off your options for somebody that is coming in and showing and proving, you know what I mean? So, you know, keep your options open. And Spirit's going to keep them coming. I'm going to tell you that now, especially if you set the intention. King of Swords, as I split the deck, could be an Aquarius for some of you. But also, the Queen of Swords is here, so it could be a divine pair. This is somebody, oh, man, damn it, but this one have the scale on it. Hold on, but I'm good. Man, I'm so good. It makes no sense. I'm great. I'm amazing. Y'all be, I'll be on here saying affirmations over myself while y'all watching me. Uh, hold on, let me pick this card up. Look, I told you we were going to see the Six of Pentacles, but this one don't have the scale on it. But, um, yeah, I told you shit, something balancing out. Something balancing out. That's what I got at the very beginning of the reading. They, your love life balancing out. Cause if, so if you feel like you've been pouring out, Knight of Pentacles here on the bottom, if you feel like you've been pouring and pouring and pouring into your, uh, into your love life, into your connections, you're about to start getting things back to you. But I do feel like there's going to be a connection, especially with this broken here. There's going to be a connection here where you're going to have to make a decision. Somebody's going to spin the block. It is a retrograde right now. And you're going to have to decide if you're going to give this person a chance or if you're going to move forward and explore other options. Okay, so take that how it resonates with you. Child. <laughs> what is really going on here, child? Now, the Empress, I told you. I When I tell you, the Empress and the High Priestess also gives Siren energy. We have the High Priestess and the Queen of Wands, and we have the High Priestess and the Empress with the sun again i'm telling you gemini's no matter what your gender is people are about to be checking for your ass i promise you gemini's i promise you i ain't steered you wrong <laughs> something about you right now is just very appealing to people okay and I feel like it's just simply you working on yourself. It may not even be anything about your outside appearance that has changed. It's just, it's your inner, something inside has changed about you, uh, Gemini's. And people are people are watching this and people are, are seeing this. But again, I feel like things are just naturally balancing out for you because a lot of you may have been having a hard time with love in general in, in relationships, but yeah uh it's that it won't always be that way you guys it's not going to always stay that way okay so just make sure you know that single gemini's that you got options coming in and i mean in a big way because people are going to be checking for that ass it always gives siren energy someone also feels like or will feel like you have a hold on them 
in some way shape or form but i do feel like multiple people are going to be seeing you as like very high value um and unattainable for real and and like valuable like yeah and somebody's gonna want you and get you and they gonna want to show you off because i feel like you're gonna be that person that like everybody is is gonna be wanting and pawning over i'm just gonna be totally honest with you because <laughs> you're the best told you somebody think about you there's a gloomy thoughts card told you somebody's thinking about you courtship i told you love i told you um i'm not gonna pull all these but we have work here on the bottom i saw that false person card as well i told you some of you it's gonna boil down to a choice um go back to the past or go get something new forgive a person or go towards somebody else okay so you're gonna have the choice to do that uh, so again, gloomy thoughts. Mm -hmm. This this gives me anxiety. This one doesn't say anxiety, but the Four of Swords gives me anxiety because I feel like someone's just kind of used to being single, and when you're used to being single, it's hard for you to learn how to coexist with a person. You have to relearn that all over again. But when you're in that space, you have to be open to it. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with that because I know I'm like that because I've been single since forever, child um but i'm open and receptive when i'm when i'm dating and when i'm you know seeing what's out there i'm open and receptive a lot of times you have to relearn that you have to relearn being able to coexist with a person and i feel like you'll meet someone or you met someone gemini's that they weren't open and receptive to you into a, a connection or to love in general um and they may have pushed you away or they may have you know did something that kind of left a bad taste in your mouth and now they're like, damn, like, I, this was like a really, really dope ass individual. Um, so gloomy thoughts is worry, depression, overthinking, self-sabotage, pessimistic, bleak, doubtful, and unhopeful. Now, hopefully this isn't you, Gemini, because if it is changed, you need to change that up because baby, what spirit has in store for you, be careful out here though, <laughs> before you end up like this, okay, before you do somebody like this. All right, especially check out the last reading. Okay, so we have courtship here, which is social life, dating, business, casual meetings, friendly encounters, clubs, groups, and seduction. I told you, Gemini, you're about to be giving siren to people. If you don't know what a siren is, look up what a siren is. <laughs> All right. Also, if you're not doing this, pay attention to your appearance, too. Like, pay attention to how you dress. Go get you a red lipstick if, if you're into that kind of thing. Um, whatever makes you feel sexy because sometimes makeup isn't a thing like makeup isn't even a thing for me um, to feel sexy but whatever makes you feel beautiful or attractive fellas okay and then we have love here which is good match compatibility romantic love friendship falling in love love affair loyalty and trust I told you you're about to meet somebody for some of you it's gonna start off a little shaky um, because again it's it's pretty much yep there is the broken heart i told you i told you i told you I <laughs> makes no sense man it just makes no sense you have somebody some something's happening now check out the last reading i saw something about now i saw something about now insane look what's on the bottom though i told you gemini's i told you that's insane. Some of you, you have somebody here. I'm seeing two energies as usual, but that doesn't have to be with all of you. Some of you, it's just somebody that is, uh, things may start off a little rocky with this person. Okay, so it's going to be up to you if you if you deal with this person or not. Um, but this is Pisces, which is roses, which is love. Again, we're seeing love again. Romance, affection, appreciation. See somebody like appreciating you. Someone didn't appreciate you or didn't see your value or see your worth or they did but they um didn't feel like they could measure up or whatever the case may be also don't take it personally when people don't see your value or see your worth because they don't see their own value and see their own worth that's why they don't see yours okay so don't take it personally um gemini's even though i know that's hard to do okay um appreciation devotion fond delighted high emotional iq 
Gifts, friendship, infatuated, enchanted, passion, fidelity, tender, yearning, and attached. I'm telling you, some of you about to have more. This fell out into my hand. Family and childhood. Oh, I told you. Some of you have a family with somebody, with this person. I told you, be careful out here in these streets, baby. Be careful out here. So we have the heartbreak here. Uh, broken hearted. This is Gemini. Uh, this is heartbreak, interference, sorrow, grief, funk, sadness, mourning, distress, let down, gloomy, hopelessness, regret, crisis, unhappy, hurt, bitter, devastated, and emotional pain. So that kind of gives me like the gloomy thoughts energy of somebody here that is a little bit down and out because things didn't work out. Or this because this is you darn down and out because something didn't work out. But there's something else in store, Gemini's. Don't even trip on that, honey. Um, we have sap here, which is Virgo. This is resources, needed materials, flow, wealth, essence of life, spring, blood, nourishment, sweetness, energy, vitality, grounded roots, abundance, physical health, and life force. I'm telling you guys, there's something about your physical appearance too. Um, but not just that. That's not the only thing that makes you attractive. But it's just something about you, Gemini's. I feel like it's, it's just very appealing to people that people may have overlooked. There's this meme, and if I, if I find it, I'll post it. But there's this meme that, was, that says something along the lines of, um, I'm that song you skipped, but later found out was fire. Like, this is what I get. Some people were sleeping on you. Uh, Gemini's and they about to be woke the fuck up. All right. We have Pioneer, which is Leo, which is heavy Leo here with the sun card here twice. And this is boldness, destination or bust, the cutting edge, long journey, trailblaze, true grit, challenge, navigating uncharted territory, resourceful team. I got your six and unflappable courage. All right, Gemini's hit those likes, y'all hit that subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace out.